Hey everyone, today I'm gonna to be talking about the people you need in a room when you are starting to write down and map your risk around desirability, viability, and feasibility of a new product or business or service idea that you have. And so I really love these themes. I love um, th this framing with desirability. It's, it's pretty much the desire, what's your risk around the desire? You're quite often asking this question of do they? Now with do they, it's about you know the value proposition, the customer segment, do they have these jobs, pains, and gains that you know you, you supposedly are going to solve for? It, it's very much uh, all around desirability. Now with viability, the question is quite often, should we? Now, granted, you should have a moral compass in business uh, that, and you should make it sustain in some way, right? So you look at the cost and the revenue. Uh, should we be working on this? Does this make sense? for the strategy of our business? Can we make it sustain? Can we generate enough revenue where you know we can cover our costs? And then with feasibility, you're really asking yourself, can we? Now with can we, granted you're gonna talk about technical feasibility, but it's not just technical feasibility. It could be regulatory governance policy, you know, uh, especially in healthcare and in financial services, just because you can technically do something doesn't mean the government necessarily gonna allow you to do it. So you need to widen your uh, perspective on feasibility to not just be solely focused on technical feasibility. It's that and more. And so if you think about who needs to be in the room when you have this conversation, you're thinking about your risk. Well, it's not perfect, but I think having people in the room that can help you answer these questions makes a lot of sense. And so I've facilitated uh, thousands of these over the years. And so I've seen some trends over time that I wanted to share with you. So first off with desirability, quite often I'm looking for folks from design and also from research to be in the room. Now it doesn't mean uh, these are the, have to be their titles, but usually you want perspective capabilities around design and research. It could also be marketing, sales, other folks, but basically you want folks in the room who can um, talk about these assumptions and potentially bring evidence that supports uh, the existence of the customer jobs, pains, and gains, or the existence of the value prop resonating with them. Now, with viability, Usually I'm looking for folks to be in the room from product, but also quite often from finance. And there could be other roles as well, but you want folks in the room who can talk about the strategy, talk about the market opportunity, talk about the numbers, right? Uh, the numbers do matter. And even if they're more of a guess early on, you're gonna bring clarity to those numbers over time. So it's really important to have folks in the room that can share those, that can uh, talk openly about the assumptions and bring evidence whether it supports or um, disproves them, okay? Now, with feasibility, usually who I want in the room is someone from tech. Uh, I do want technical representation in the room because we're talking usually about can we feasibly build this thing, but you may also want and quite often I invite legal, uh, safety and compliance, uh, other folks that can talk about governance and policies and regulations that may prevent you from being able to execute on this idea, okay? So feasibility does need to often extend beyond technical feasibility. Now, roles aside, I think having these folks in the room is gonna give you a more well-balanced approach to your business and being able to de-risk it. Cause that's really the point here is being able to de-risk that new business or product or service that you're working on. Now, what happens when these folks aren't in the room? Well, I think we've probably seen enough of those examples in the real world, but you know, let's say you have folks from design and research in the room and you have folks from uh, product and finance in the room, but you left out tech, legal, anyone else. Well, you might have something that people want that could potentially make money well, but you can't actually execute on it because you don't have folks in the room that uh, can talk about the technical risk, the legal risk, the safety and compliance risk. Now, let's say you invited design and research in the room and you also had tech and legal in the room, but you didn't have product and finance in the room. Well, um, you can build something um, that people would want, but then if the numbers never make sense, it's going to die anyway. It's never really gonna get funded. You're going to lose money, it's going to go away. So having them in the room also matters. Now let's say you had tech and legal in the room and also product and finance in the room 
and you neglected design and research. I've seen this happen way too often. And unfortunately, what's going to happen here is you're going to build something nobody cares about. And it's going to launch, you're going to put a lot of money behind it, and it's going to flop. And you've wasted a lot of people's time and attention and energy. And uh, you've also wasted a lot of money. And so uh, you need to have them in the room too. So ideally, you know, when you're having all three of this balanced team, this balanced representation, when you are attempting to build something new and you're looking at the risk, then having all three matters. So I'm curious what you all think, if there are any roles that I left out or other folks that you felt that needed to be in this conversation. Again, I usually err on the side of being inclusive in these uh, mapping exercises and extracting map exercises because I want to know, um, I want people to feel invested in it and I want a well-rounded view of risk, not just risk around the customer, not just risk around the pricing, not just risk around can we do it. I want to see all three. So let me know what you think. Thanks.